Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and to subscribe. Anybody want to guess how much this vehicle costs? All right? We know what the MSRP is. We know dealership are asking crazy amount of money for this. But this particular one, it's a, I believe it's a 2023 Sonic Gray, beautiful looking Type R. You know, I've always liked the new styling of the new Type R. The only thing that I can complain about is that I complained in the past about is just the, um, the, the red carpet. I just feel like it's out of place. I think it should have been black like the previous Type R. And then everything else could be red with a little bit of a red stitchings and stuff like that. Just to make it a little bit like flow better in my honest opinion. But anyway, this is DCH of Temecula and they sold this particular Sonic Gray Type R for an astronomical amount of money and people are paying, that's the problem. We, the consumers are the problem. You keep paying these ridiculous prices so they have zero incentive to lower the fucking prices of these high-end cars or at least very you know these cars are very desirable <laughs> very very desirable so let's go ahead and check out the addendum sticker and see how much they're going for all right let's do that right now <laughs> Woo! look at that Ugh. All right, so you're paying $695. So the MSRP of the vehicle is $45,345. You have $695 of uh, protection package, which includes trunk tray, mud guards, and wheel locks. You know, those are actually fine. You know what's funny? That every single dealership, they want to sell you this bullshit, but the car already comes with that standard. So when you add on an additional... Uh, security system on top of the one that comes in OEM with the immobilizer, you're going to have issues later down the road. And unfortunately, for my car, when I bought it, they sold me this crap in there too. So I'm going to have issues later down the road uh, unless I sell it. But it's very, there's a slim chance. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you got $13.95 for security system. And then you have theft code $3.95. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, forever start. I don't know what the fuck that is either. You have 3M. What? what okay. When, in what context is it 3M? Is it covering the hood? Is it covering the fenders? Or is it covering the uh, the front of the car? Where is the 3M? Or is it window tint? Is it the window tint? But let me see if it is indeed the window tint. Yay. Maybe. Maybe. I don't see it. Uh, maybe maybe it's the window tint. I don't know, but we're going on. And then here is the stuffing. <sighs> here it is, guys. $30,000 on top. That's right. $30,000 on top. 30000 so the total asking price is $78,920. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do some mathematics here. All right, so we're going to we're going to do your your uh, your taxes first. So we're going to do the the sales tax, all right? Depending on your area where you live, um, tax codes or uh, sales taxes are different. If you're in LA area, your taxes are a little bit higher. I am in San Bernardino County. Uh, so my taxes are, I think it's 8.75 or I could be wrong. So we got 78,000, <laughs> 78,920 and our taxes is zero. I don't know why I'm using the the, the, the mouse, 0 0.875. Uh, so you're looking at six thousand, six thousand nine hundred and five dollars. All right, and then we're gonna add. Let's add a thousand dollars for the um, for the a thousand dollars for your for your DMV filing and fees and stuff like that. So seventy eight thousand nine hundred and twenty. So we're at 85825 
And then we're going to add another 1,000 for the DMV file and all that junk. You know, so we're at $86,825. That is a shit ton of money to pay for a fucking Type R. I would never. At this point, I might as well just go and purchase myself an Acura Integra Type R if I can get it for a reasonably priced. Because it's, it's honestly, it's the same car and you're getting a little bit more luxuriousness and um, conveniences with the Acura than you are with the Type R. The Type R is a driver's car and the Acura Integra Type R is a little bit more of a, you know, it still can put the power down. Don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit more comfort. You can have a little bit more comfort while you're putting that power down, which is, you know, it's a plus, you know, it's good. Um, so for me, honestly, I would much rather just purchase an Acura Integra Type R if I can get it for a good price comparing to trying to chase the Civic Type R. So yeah, and then that's not including your finances. So let's just say we divide that by 72 months and that's not including your APR and all that junk. So you're looking at 1250 or $1,205 a month. <sighs> And that's not including the interest rate, whether you're getting a, you know, higher loans or you're putting up a large sum of that money down, you know, it, all that stuff comes into play. But see, we are the problem. The more people keep spending money and purchasing these vehicles for these large sums of money, dealerships have no fucking incentive to lower their prices. But guess what's happening, my fe fellow gentlemen? Guess what is happening right now? Ford and all those other GM and all those, you know, manufacturers that are pricing their trucks over a hundred thousand, guess what? They're not fucking selling. Nobody's buying them. You know why? Cause they can't afford them, especially with how high the interest rates are. It is fucking bananas out there right now to purchase a new car. I just fucking hate the process in general. It is the worst fucking, Thing for anybody to experiencing is buying a fucking car and that's fucking sad <laughs> sorry for the f-bomb i'm just <sighs> Woosa. but anyways i hope you enjoyed the content and it was entertaining for you and um as always make sure to like and subscribe i appreciate every single one of you guys for doing that and i'll see you guys in the next video and uh yeah as you can tell i went off and the sweat starts pouring and it's not because of this bright ass light that's pointing towards my big ass forehead but <laughs> i'm out